Hey, Men of the Mayhem here, and today we're looking at the Lilligo T-Watch S3 Plus and how to flash Bruce firmware onto it to, to turn it into a wearable penetration testing and hacking device. So let's get it booted on so you can see what it looks like. As you can see here, I've got a custom boot screen on here for Man in the Mayhem. And this watch will automatically boot through to, to being an actual watch. This is great because it means that when you have it on your wrist, it is, it's very nondescript and it works exactly as anyone would expect a watch to work. And if someone asks you for time, you can give it them. But once we click in this top left hand corner, we're then greeted by our main menus that would allow us to get access to the different tools that are available within Bruce. First up, we have got Wi-Fi. Then we have got our Bluetooth. Ethernet won't work on this device, and as far as I'm aware, there's no way to add any plugins. We have infrared, and there's an infrared LED or diode here. We have our files. We have GPS, which can do wall driving, as this device does support GPS. We've got JavaScript interpreter. We have our other menu, our clock, our connect, and our configures. So as you can see, it's got all the functionality you'd imagine from having from Bruce, apart from you won't be able to add anything like a CC1101, or an NRF24. It does, however, give the ability to do Wi-Fi and Bluetooth attacks off your watch on the fly. So let's look at how to flash this. To flash the firmware on this watch, what we need to do is make sure we've got it plugged into a computer. We then need to make sure that we hold the boot button, which is this one on the top left, whilst we push the reboot button on the top right of the watch. This should then put the watch into boot mode. So when it comes to the Bruce Flasher website, we're going to click Install. We're going to go down to our Lilligo devices, and then we're going to come down to S3 Watch. I'm going to click Connect. I'm going to pick USB JTAG, so your debug unit COM30. Yours will see something else on the COM port. Click Connect. Once we're connected, we're going to click Install Lilligo T Watch S3. Click Erase Device, and then click Next. Once again, I'm not going to do these steps here because it will flash my device and they'll have to re-upload all the different custom things that I've already done to it. But that's as quick and as simple as it is to flash this particular device. So that's it, all flashed up and working and ready to go. So if you want to get yourself one of these watches, there's an affiliate link down in the description. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but throw some shekels my way to help make these videos. Massive shout out to the developers of Bruce Firmware for making such an amazingly fun piece of firmware and make it so that it's compatible on so many devices. Thanks to Lilligo for sending this out to me. If you've got any questions, please feel free to chuck them into the comment section and I'll get back to you as and when I can to try and help you out. If you want to learn more about the Bruce firmware, I've done a big breakdown video of all the different features that are baked into this particular firmware and how it works across other devices. I'll put a link for that in the description below as well. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Happy hacking, catch you next time.